I run a 60-frame uh, cowan extractor. I bought it brand new in 2007. Uh, it's an integration between uh, stainless steel and uh, painted steel. The base model also is just a crank um, crank load, so I have no air ram options on it. Uh, what I wanted to do is to include an air ram onto the hood because my guys uh, manually lift this hood um, and I found it as it being a hazard as that reel. Um, as I'd start the reel up, it's spinning there, reaching over that reel to close the hood. So what I've done is I've added an air ram to this machine and I'll show you how we did it. So the hood opens as a 12 inch stroke um, and the, the arms were already included on this uh, piece of equipment to suit an air ram. So what I did is I went to my local uh, equipment shop and I found uh, an air ram with a 12 inch bore stroke. I plumbed it in with a simple up down switch so everything's connected by air. So I just plumbed it in and it's just simply put up down. It raises the hood up and now when my guys start up the reel they don't have to reach over the reel to close this hood. Reaching over the reel I'm always it's a hazard, I'm always scared someone's going to get hurt so they don't have to use this anymore. So now they fill it up and they can close it. This is one of the favorite features of the farm right now. The guy is uh, not having to struggle over this damn hood. I got kids from school helping me and some of them are a little bit shorter than I am and reaching over this hood um, can be a bit of a challenge. Especially when you're leaning over top of a spinning reel. So this has been the most recent addition to my extractor. It cost me 200 bucks and a little bit of time to install, but um, it was money and time worth spent.